Hello everyone, welcome to our Upper Phase Assembly. Um, it's Monday the 1st of February 2021. Um, which zone are you in today? Are you in blue, green, yellow or red? I'm feeling a little bit yellow zone today. I'm a little bit frustrated and a, a little bit worried about the amount of work that I've got to do that keeps coming and piling on my desk. So I need to have a look, what can I do to help what can I do to get me back into this green zone? Looking at the suggestions there, I think the best one for me today is to take a brain break in between each task that I'm doing. And I've got a feeling that might actually be a bit similar for some of you guys at home as well. So as you've completed one of your subjects, don't forget to take a little brain break and have that rest and then come back to it and tackle that next task. So our would you rather question is, would you rather have a magic flying carpet or would you rather have your own personal robot? I think at the moment I'd like to have a bit of a change of view. If I can socially distance just me and my fly, uh, flying carpet, I think I'd like to go out and about and have a little look around. But what would you rather? Tell someone at home or maybe write it down in your book whether you'd rather have the magic flying carpet experience or your own personal robot to boss around. Workers of the week, great job. We are really proud of each and every one of you. We know this isn't easy, uh, you know, working from home, being different to those of you who are in school, but keep up the great work. Um, and a bit of a special mention to Tyler, Adriana, Georgia, Jessica, James and Vanessa. Well done to our workers of the week this week. Uh, a quick shout out to some super work that your class teachers have been sending me through. So you can see on there, we've got some work from Hasnat, Kai Reese, Georgia, Lily May, um, Brody and Vanessa. So well done. Don't forget, you can get your work on our super work board just by emailing it in to upperphase at eastfieldpri.co.uk. Bringing your work back to me outside a breakfast club entrance on Mondays between 12 and 2. And your teacher will choose their favourite piece to get onto our special shout out board. So our house points for this week. Um, let's see who's in the lead so far. So the winner with the most house points this week is... It's Saturn again. So well done to my Saturn children. Everybody else in Mars, Jupiter and Neptune, don't forget, send your work in. Your teachers will allocate your house points on Sims app. Keep a track of that. And I'm sure we can catch up with Saturn and give them a run for their money. Our core value at Eastfield, remember from last week, was care. And I set you a house point competition. You've still got a week to enter this competition. Um, you've got to create a poster that shows how pupils at Eastfield show care. Uh, you can email me evidence, a photograph, or you can bring it to me Monday between 12 and 2. The competition will finish next Friday. Okay, our assembly focus this week is kindness and forgiveness. There's some pictures on there of people showing kindness or forgiveness. So what does kindness actually mean? What does it mean to you? Being friendly, generous and considerate of others. Kindness is showing goodwill and support to others. Kindness is being concerned when others are upset or worried and helping them or trying to help them. Uh, kindness is doing something nice for someone without expecting anything in return. How can we show kindness? So today I want you to think about how you're gonna show kindness to somebody at home. You could perhaps give them a smile. You could say good morning. You could hold the door open for them. You could ask them how are they are? How are they feeling? How are you today? You could listen to them. You could think about just being nice to somebody today. And then you never know, somebody might show you some kindness back too. So I want you to think about kindness this week. And this is one way that we can show kindness without it costing us anything. We can smile, make the right choice. Your smile may be the brightest light in someone's day today. So let your kindness shine. Smile at whoever you can, whenever you can. Don't forget to smile and you'll feel happy on the inside too. 
just some tips if you're working from home. Remember, treat your home learning the same as you would be completing your work in school. Think about the standard of your work if you were working in school in the classroom and make sure your work is to the same standard in your books from home. Um, remember, it's vitally important that you watch the teaching videos. If you go onto our Eastfield primary YouTube channel, click on the playlist and you'll see your year group and you'll be able to access all of the daily videos your teachers are working really hard with videos to help you complete your learning. Remember what I said, if you're in the yellow zone, don't forget to take a short brain break when you need to. But remember, come back and complete your work. Don't leave it till the next day. Then you don't want to fall behind. I'll be outside at the breakfast club entrance on Monday between 12 and 2. So you can return your work to me and I will give it to your teachers for them to mark so that they can go and tick off some of your targets, some of your AREs in your books for you. And we will give you a new book to work in as well. So that's it, everybody. So stay safe. Remember, keep washing your hands, keeping your two metres distance if you're out and about. Stay safe, happy learning, and I will see you next week. And thank you for watching our video today. Bye for now. Bye.